everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my school actually started today and I know some of you guys started like a month or two ago but since our university's academic calendar is a bit different from other schools, it started today. <laughs> you guys are only gonna be able to watch this video after you have already bought your school supplies but nonetheless, I still have a couple of cute items that I have here. I hope this video is still somewhat helpful even though you already bought your school supplies. So I went to two stores to buy my school supplies. I went to Typo and to National Bookstore. I actually also wanted to go to Muji, but then I thought school was gonna start on Wednesday and I thought I still had time to buy like stuff for Muji, but then I started today and I only found out yesterday, which is why I went to National Bookstore last night. Yeah, let's go ahead and start with the stuff I bought from National Bookstore. First item I got from National Bookstore are these green apple notebooks. This is my favorite notebook. Majority of my notebooks are green apple. Wait, let me show you guys. So here are my old notebooks. I actually have a couple more lying around my room, but I'm too lazy to get them. So yeah, my point is I love green apple. This is the size that I usually get, but I decided to get the smaller one because this is too heavy. Okay, now the next item is a school essential yellow pad paper. I usually get the brand Catlea because the quality of the paper is really nice. Like, I love the texture of it. I love the blue lines. So yeah, it's kind of weird but I really like this brand. Okay, some of the items are a bit boring so I'm just gonna go through them really fast. I have a masking tape. I have a small scotch tape. I have the fold back clips and I actually prefer these over paper clips but then these are a bit expensive so I tend to reuse them and I really like the tiny ones so I have the tiny one and the medium sized one. I also have the big one but I still have a couple of stock left in my school supply stash so I didn't buy one anymore. I also bought this pilot eraser and I know some of you guys always lose your erasers but the eraser that I'm currently using I've had since I was in high school so nice one good job then proud. Like I still have it but then it's not that nice anymore so I decided to buy a new one. The next item that I got is this Tabula whiteboard marker. This one is the refillable one. I usually get the Schneider one from Office Warehouse but the Office Warehouse I go to doesn't sell the refill anymore. Like they're always out of stock and I need whiteboard marker for my whiteboard. This one is actually a whiteboard. Like I just taped an illustration board and then every time I need to use a whiteboard, I just remove the illustration board. Now again, if you know me and you're watching this and you see me around school, then you know that I carry this around school. It's a 1-8 um, whiteboard. This is what I used to study. Like I carry it around school and I carry it around every time I have an exam. Only when I have an exam or a quiz and I like to write stuff down in it and erase it just so I remember it. I like to use a whiteboard because I feel like it reduces your paper waste. So yay, save the environment. <laughs> Next up, I got this Dong A YT360 correction tape. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it's round, so it tends to roll around. So if you're taking an exam, sometimes it falls on the ground, but I still buy this because it fits in my pencil case perfectly and it's refillable. So I lost my other correction tape, so I decided to buy a new one. But then again, hassle siya pag exam kasi umiikot ikot siya sa table. And then I bought this Mapid Boogie Sharpener. It's nothing special, it's just a sharpener. I just lost my other sharpener so I decided to get a new one. Next I got this Big Round Stick Easy Pen so I'm pretty sure you guys already know this because this is the same pens that you see in the counter when you pay in the cashier. Like I always see this kaya minsan napapakuha ko and I really like it. Um, I used to use Panda kaso I noticed na after a couple of months nakita mo yung ink mark at the back of the page. Like it marks at the back of the page because it's water based. So, ayun, that's why I switched over to big. I also use GTEC, kaso medyo mahal yung GTEC, and I didn't buy any more kasi yung mga GTEC ko from last school year still has ink. Okay, so the next three items are like my favorite finds in National, and it's this Tableau pastel colored highlighters. I got the yellow one, the purple one, and the orange one, and these are really nice. I love highlighters. Let me show you my highlighter stash. So, I have a bunch of highlighters here, and I have a bunch of highlighters scattered also like in my bag. I'm the type of person that highlights everything in the book because everything is important. My all-time favorite highlighter is the Sharpie Smear Guard. And I really like this. Sobrang ganda niya. I can't explain it. Pero siguro alam niya na. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already tried this. Sobrang ganda niya. 
I only bought these three highlighters because it's different. I really love these highlighters because they're not too bright and they're not too dim to the point that you can't read the text anymore. They're like the perfect in between. So if ever these are limited edition, I am gonna stock up on them because I'm a highlighter junkie. Like makeup and school supply wise. What school supplies wise? I'm a highlighter junkie. Um, if you know if these are limited edition, leave in the comment section down below because if they are, again, I'm gonna stock up on them. Okay, so now we're down to the last two items that I bought from National Bookstore. I bought this Mapped Metal Universal Stapler. I bought this one because this was the cheapest stapler that I found. It's only 99.75. The other staplers I found were like 200 plus to 300 plus. And my favorite stapler is from Muji. The yung nafa fold. As in, parang nafa flat siya, pero I broke it. And since I wasn't able to go to Muji, I wasn't able to buy another one. That stapler lasted me about three years. Kaya medyo matibay naman siya, yun nga lang. Sayang nasira. Then the last item I bought from National Bookstore is this Victoria's Journals. Um, notebook. It's super tiny and cute. It's perfect for like to-do list. I'm the type of person pa naman to write down like my to-do list, my thoughts. So I actually wrote down on it on like my things to do for this term, like my goals. And I don't want to share it. So yeah, I'm going to carry this notebook around everywhere. I'm going to keep it in my pocket because again, I'm the type of girl who writes down everything. <laughs> Okay, so now let's move on to Typo. I bought a couple of notebooks from Typo and I super love them. You know how I love my green apple notebooks? These notebooks are super duper cute and I couldn't resist it even though, again, I love my green apple notebooks. So yeah, let me go ahead and show them to you. I bought a total of four notebooks. This one is like the Simpsons edition notebook and it's super nice. It's kind of like a journal type. I haven't opened it yet, so... Let me go ahead and do that now. I'm not sure if the camera is catching it, but it's glitters and it just has the Simpsons donut in it because the theme was Simpsons. Like they had a lot of Simpsons items on display. So I got this notebook because again, pink is my favorite color and so cute niya. So lines yung pages niya. Next, I got these three spiraled notebooks and I super love these. They're super duper cute. This one was part of the Simpsons um, display. It has like space themed food, like Simpsons food, you know, the donuts and stuff. And I got this pink notebook. It says, did you say gym? Oh, sorry. I thought you said gin. I don't drink gin. I don't like gin, but it's funny. So I bought it. Then the last notebook I got is this pug eating an ice cream. It says ice cream is big. So again, super duper cute. Um, what's nice about these notebooks is that they have like a pocket where you can put like small notes and stuff. So I paid 400 pesos for these three notebooks. It was kind of like a promo because if you buy it individually, it costs 199 pesos. So it's kind of like buy two, get one free, something like that. Okay, so those are pretty much all the items that I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Peace out.